As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark the World Hypertension Day, experts say about 80 million adult Nigerians representing 40% of the population are at risk of hypertension. What's the way forward? Also on The Breakfast, we bring you update on security situation in Kanu and what safety measures have been put in place for the resumption of train services. And don't forget, we will also be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Good morning to you. This is The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. I am Messi Bopo. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning to you, Messi. Brand new look. <laughs> you look okay, nice, by the be. way. Thank you so much. I take that. Mm. Uh, thank you. Mm. I think I like it when women, you know, go and braid and all. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Mercy is trying to you know, just take it all together. But hey, let's just slide on to on top trending. Oh, thank you. So, <laughs> Kano is actually trending, or not really for a wonderful reason right now, but uh, for an explosion that uh, rocked a particular area of um, the ancient city, that's um, Sabon Geri. And uh, the police residents are disagreeing over the cause of uh, the particular inferno. The police has come out with a statement and uh, they are saying that it was caused by, um, the inferno was actually a gas uh, explosion, although uh, residents disagree. So, so uh, it's really, I mean, looking at that situation and looking at the incident, it calls for a lot of whether or not it's gas, uh, gas situation or, or it's not a gas situation. We're hoping that the relevant quarters, because when you have an incident like this happen, uh, there should be an investigation. Yeah. But let's even go by the story that's been put out. Let's even say that it's a gas explosion. We constantly, or I don't know for every other person, but I have constantly queried and questioned why we have, if, if you look at this building now, um, therefore you have that, there's a school beside it and then you probably would have a gas station right but i haven't seen the picture of a gas station so the only reason any anybody would believe that you know this was not a deliberate attack i mean it was not um you know some persons going there to put out the explosive would be that we need to understand if you have a, a gas station beside it there's no way you're going to explain that if there's no gas station whether it's a retail shop or a store or it's a fueling station. But we constantly have talked about the danger of having all of that. I, you move around across different parts of Nigeria, yeah. you would see that there are a lot of disasters waiting to happen. And then those who would call on God will call on God and those who would say, oh, the devil has come afterwards, the demons in our villages and what have you, call your grandfather, your grandmother, because they are the witches and wizards that are haunting you. But we constantly forget that our action every other time. I could see a head. I mean, that, that would be a head of a child. It's really sad and unfortunate. And some of the disasters that we actually face are man-made. They are caused by us deliberately. So like, like I said, we're waiting that the relevant authorities will get through to it and then they investigate the exact situation uh, mm. with that explosion, whether it is um, you know, a terrorist attack or it's just... Um, carelessness on our part where you have um, that explosion because you have a gas station or retail station close to it. Well, it was really dangerous. And I asked, who are those? Because that's why you have government. I say that all the time. Governance is not about vying for election and, you know, contesting, wanting to become the president and the governor, and that's it. It doesn't end there. It goes beyond all of that. We need to pay attention to things like this. And then we make comparison to, you know, the developed line. These things don't, almost don't happen, right? How do you have... Uh, how do you now have a gas station close to a residential area? It's not done. Even in the movies, you don't see that happen. It's not. It's a disaster. It would happen. Not An like explosion would occur. To happen, yes. Really. And I have seen a lot. There's a certain time, there's a popular church in a certain city where you have... A, the church is in the middle of a gas station and on the other hand, you know, this is the middle of a retail. He's just waiting to explode. He would explode. Mm. But who gives the approval? Because before you acquire a property, I mean a landed property, uh, someone would have to approve it. And in because whose purview is it? The state government. Exactly. So who's giving approval to all of this? Why do we have filling stations? Why do we have gas stations in residential and commercial areas? It's mm. not supposed to be so. Can we just have an area? And then if you begin to say, okay, you already have gas, it, 
gas stations around or filling station around a certain area, then you should not consider having, um, you know, residential, um, you know, permit around this yeah, certain but Yes, area. It, it, a whole lot. Um, it's so, so um, I mean, it, it, it's depressing. It's really depressing. It is very depressing. Like you have said, uh, when um, town planners, when city planners uh, give approvals or for how a city would be run, there is um, a master plan. And over time, this master plan is changed uh, just to accommodate uh, some other people or even some greedy people, as you said. But then, you know, it is, it behoves up on the government to ensure that um, everyone who lives in a particular area is safe. When you give your approvals, uh, what's the initial plan? Is this supposed to be a commercial area? Is it supposed to be residential? I want it, uh, I, mean, I mean, been approved to be residential. Some activities are not exactly meant to be there. Uh, gas uh, station, filling station, and other highly combustible, uh, you know, the substances uh, being close to where people live should not be what we are talking about at this particular time. We've lost a whole lot of lives in Nigeria. We don't need to be uh, you know, burdened with um, people dying from preventable causes. Uh, this is one I feel would have been prevented. If uh, uh, the report of um, the police is anything to go by, then um, this is a really sad situation which could have been prevented. Uh, we'll be looking at what the papers are saying this morning on Off the Press to join us again.